All right, here we go. Shout out to everybody in the chat. It's the baddest brand in the land. Champ side, Gervonta Tank Davis answering a question uh, from a fan who asked him uh, when he'd be back, and he says he'll be back in June. So uh, a account called Loco Sports Las MMA uh, asked Tank Davis earlier today, uh, they said, Gervonta, for fans who love boxing, can you give us a clue when your next fight will be? And uh, Tank replied that it would be in June. So uh, I saw that Frank Martin has a Cigar Talk episode premiering soon. I don't really know the date, but I did see that on my feed earlier. So Frank Martin versus Tank could very likely be in June. Uh in that particular matchup, right? So it's been rumored for a little while now. Um, so I'm going to let people come in before I really, you know, jump into it. But shout out to everybody. Shout out to the evening crew. Uh, I saw a post from Coach Kenny. Uh, that is also what made me say that Tank is preparing for Frank Martin, right? Uh, Coach, Coach, Coach Kenny uh, posted uh, something in particular about Frank Martin, and uh, I noticed he did it uh, first a couple weeks ago. Uh, but more recently, he said this. He says, uh, Coach Kenny, this is Tank Davis's coach, trainer. He says, sitting here studying Frank Martin, look at the length from his elbows to the top of his gloves. It handicapped him when he's fighting on the inside, not effective as it looks. So Coach Kenny has been studying Frank Martin, obviously. Uh, he also said he did not say Tank was fighting Shakur next, but he posted something about Frank's Skull or some. Here we go. He said, Phase one, up early studying Frank Martin's skull. Very thin, zygomatic bone. Shout out to Coach Alex Hustle in the super chat. Appreciate you. Shout out to Coach Alex Hustle. Smash the like button. Share this video. Like this video. You said, Champ side, keep it. Uh, you said, champ side, keep killing it. Go watch the Black Murderer's Road doc. And that's a fact. Shout out to Coach Alex Hustle in the super chat. Uh, David Hyde, shout out. You said he posted Houston as the location. Hope Tank versus Frank is in Houston or Atlanta. Did he? I didn't see that. Shout out to David Hyde with the info. I didn't see that, bro. So you saying Tank said the fight was going to be in Houston? It'll be real good in Atlanta, too. Uh, Brother Mike, shout out. Rodney James, military, in the building. You said in class early, patiently waiting on the professor. Salute to the champ side and the baddest brand in chat in the land. Appreciate that, yeah. I don't know. Okay, I don't know, what's, I don't know what that was, honestly. <laughs> Hopefully it's straight. Every time, every time. It's crazy. Like clockwork. Uh, shout out to Escape. Yeah, just refresh. You should be able to refresh. It'll come back. You said they're going to say Frank not ready, but I think he more than ever. Well, that's what they were saying, right? That's what they were saying when I first started uh, covering uh, well, when we first started mentioning that fight as a possibility, being that Frank is at 135 and he fights on PBC, we already knew that fight was, I mean, he got the co-sign from Arrow. You know, they've already been in the ring together. Frank is trying to get a title shot. You know, Devin leaves the weight class, goes to 140, it's open. So we kind of knew that fight was possible. Uh, pound for pound, you said, yeah, on Instagram post, he posted the pic with the location, Houston. Oh, okay, I was going off his Twitter, 
Ryan was on Twitter flaming uh, Shakur and Tank. I'm like, man, that dude, he must have deleted his Instagram post because I don't see nothing on his Instagram. Wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I see it now. I didn't even see that. Yeah, I'll pull it up. He said, June. Ryan was pretty upset that Tank mentioned him today. He was like, man, what I do? I help you get life-changing money. So that's what y'all talking about. Houston, Texas, June. Maybe he's just in Houston, though, where, where he posting that from. But if it was, that would be cool, too. What's the state? What's the arena out there, the NRG? You said, do you consider Frank the biggest puncher Tank have fought? Biggest puncher? I mean, I think the biggest puncher Tank think he's fought is Roley, probably. Um, I think Frank's probably better than them guys he fought already, punching power aside just overall, but it's hard to say. Frank can crack, though, for sure. But I think it's about timing, accuracy, and placement more than power. You know, especially when... I mean, you saw what Tank said today. He said, slip. What did he say, chat? He said, slip something and come with the overhand left or something, and Ryan goes to sleep again. So, I mean, Tank, basically what I'm saying is Tank tweeted today uh, from Ryan. He reposted Ryan's training, and he basically was calling out his flaw again, the same flaw he beat him with, which is basically slipping his right hook or his lead hook, and coming over the top. He said, I, I didn't screen, maybe I did screenshot it. Hold on, I don't remember. I don't know if he deleted it or not. I just, uh, let me see. Because I just be assuming sometimes, honestly. Uh, I know he deleted something. Ryan was saying he deleted something because Ryan went on Twitter space today for about 30, about 40 some minutes talking about Shakur and uh, tank. I thought Tank deleted his Instagram and his Twitter. Damn, what the fuck? See, that's that's what happens. I'm checking for his shit. Then y'all tell, oh, it's deleted. I go to it, it's deleted. Then y'all tell me he posted two hours. or like, damn. See, whatever reason, I don't be getting certain people post on my feed. That's why I have to turn their notifications on. But, uh, on his Twitter, he deleted the post. He was basically calling out Ryan's flaw. Let me see if I got it in my... Oh, okay, here we go. So somebody posted... Well, Ryan posted footage of him uh, hitting the pads with his father. And Tank said this. He said, slip, brick hand over the top, buddy sleep again. And then he posted the Tom and Jerry sleep gif. Right? So basically he was calling out Ryan's error and his flaw. But he deleted the tweet. So that's what got Ryan mad. That's what made Ryan go on Twitter spaces today. Ryan was pretty upset about that. So if you've seen his Twitter space... He was, you know, going at Tank. He posted Tank kissing Broner or some shit. He posted Tank getting lifted up off his feet by P. Diddy. Uh, he posted how he was hugging Broner. Just a bunch of petty stuff, right? He's like, man, I got ammo on all of these. This Did y'all hear what Ryan said? This man, Ryan, just puts it. I'm just, I'm just going to let y'all know he said this, right? He said that they pants Shakur Stevenson and he had shit on his draws. He said everybody knows that. Then he asked for Shakur to come into the Twitter space, and he did. Then they talked about fighting if Ryan beats Devin and doesn't get the tank rematch at 140. It was a very wild Twitter space, right? So he was, you know, cursing Shakur out. Then Shakur came in there. He said that they robbed him in the Shakur fight in the amateurs. Shakur was like, man, it was easy. Just a bunch of back and forth.
shout out to Boxing and Barbecue and shout out to Miss Aisha. Uh, Lil Rock, shout out. Francis, shout out. He said it's past his bedtime. Oh, that's crazy. Uh, shout out to Jason. You said it's been a while since PBC has done a Juneteenth card. I don't think they ever have, have they? I don't think they ever have. Let's see. I think the do I think the Saturday Saturdays in June are 8, 15, 22, and 29. Yeah, Juneteenth is on a Wednesday. But the 22nd do look like it do look good, right? You dig? That's the day before my born day. 29th June is it? It's a very good month, I would say. People, smash the like button, share this video, like this video. Shout out to MJ. He said, I think you meant to say you at work or something. You said, I'm at listening to Baddest Brand. Shout out to MJ. Core will put belt to ass on Ryan. Yeah, Shakur will beat Ryan easy, I think. But Ryan not going to entertain fighting him. Ryan not going to entertain fighting Shakur because he, like, he know he can fight Tank again and get another $100 million fight. He can fight Devin. If that fight is competitive, he might want to rematch Devin and vice versa. He could fight T.O., you know. He got some fights out there. He, he might want to fight Blair Cobbs. I know somebody mentioned him earlier, but. Just the fact that Blair Cobbs is wild and Ryan got that, you know what I'm saying? He liable to say anything. Uh, that's a casual fight, right? Shout out to Jason. You said in Houston, I believe, with one of the Charlos. Uh, people's perspective shout out you said at the barbershop listening to the baddest brand in the land man shout out to the people's perspective uncut cutting in the barbershop right now live on the baddest brand in the land so we got you know it's been a little wild week you know what I'm saying with Ryan Garcia's rants well I would say the last seven days even though it's early in the week but Ryan's rants we got Keith one time Thurman pulling out of the fight with an injury with Tim Zhu. You got Sebastian Fundora going in. That fight is for two belts. Uh, it's the first fight on Prime. I watched the Gloves Are Off series. I thought they were pretty good. I liked the cinematography. The storytelling was pretty good. Like I said, I think it'll be better when they have bigger people to actually feature, right? But they did what they did with... um you know, Keith Thurman and Tim Zoo. I don't, I don't, I don't think Tim Zoo is an easy sell, do y'all? Like, I don't know. I guess he's a, I guess I don't see, you know, when people talk about him being a big fight for Bud and shit, I'm like, really? Like, y'all really think, like, how many of y'all, if, if Boots and Tim Zoo fighting on the same night, I mean, who you watching? I mean, I, I guess I'm not really trying to break it down that that deep. I like Tim Zhu, right? But I just don't see how that's such a big fight for Bud. I I don't see how Tim is such a huge star or some shit. I don't I don't see that. Uh, K Mig, shout out. You said the gloves are off. Uh, episodes are solid. Yeah, no, I like them. Uh, they're using the narrator from, uh, wait, are they using the narrator from HBO? They might be. But yeah, they you could tell it's like, you know, there's a different production crew on it. Just by the way, like, I could just tell how they edit, you know, as somebody who edits videos. I could just tell how they laid it down. It's It's a whole different crew working on it. But... You said, no, he not a draw. Yeah, I don't, I mean, like, he probably is a draw in some small section of Australia, but this is not Australia, you know? This is not Australia. So, you know, I think Thurman was doing a big job 
You know, he has name recognition. People know Thurman in Vegas, you know? People know Thurman in, in boxing, period. He fought Pacquiao. He fought Danny in a big fight on free cable. He fought Porter in a big fight on free cable. Uh, he was one of the first people that fought on the PBC early. I think I think he might have fight, fought the first fight when he fought uh, uh, Ghost Guerrero, right? I think he might have been the first person on PBC featured. So anyway, hopefully Tank is announcing his fight uh, possibly at the fight in basically, what, 10 days? Getting to that time. Uh, you said definitely MJ, shout out, yeah, Thurman getting hurt, Fundura stepping in with his style and two belts on the line. First fight on Amazon, sound like God's work to me. Yeah, it did. The alignment is crazy, ain't it? But, yep, everything happened for a reason. Like I said, um, I wouldn't be surprised, you know, if they do make Bud and Tim Zoo next, and, you know, I would have Bud beating Tim Zoo and then, I don't know, me personally, hopefully, maybe that arrow rematch will be out there too, but I don't know if Bud is going to fight two, three more times, two more times, because he already said, I might give y'all one more. That's what he said. And really, he said he'd be vac vacationing all year. Remember, I was like, nah, that ain't a good thing. You said maybe Tim's name will get bigger after this fight. Well, yeah, that's... That's that's the intention, right? I mean, that's why he's got the the platform. That's why, you know, this really supposed to be a showcase for him if we keeping it real. Uh, they didn't put Thurman in there because he's their number one uh, possession. You get what I'm saying? Like Thurman was number one when they first started PBC, but not now. But Tim is the one, like, just look at their traje trajectories. Who's, whose career seems like it's going up and whose career seems like it's going on a decline? It's pretty obvious. Not to say that Thurman wouldn't beat Tim Zhu, but that's, that's the whole, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's why we're here, because Tim Zhu one day is going to fight somebody even bigger. Maybe Arrow, maybe Bud, who fucking knows? Maybe Boots. So there you go. That's that, again. That's matchmaking. That's career building. All of that. People smash the like button. I don't know why I'm missing so many thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up on the damn video. See how I don't be cursing people out no more to hit the like, so they just don't hit it. Take some initiative. Smash the like button. <laughs> Shout out to Roll Tide. You said champ side in the chat. The evening edition is on and popping. Yeah, I might even have to switch my topics up in the evening, depending on how I go. Uh, Lewis, you said, I think PBC's plan was to use Thurman's name to draw people to the fight. Of course. I mean, again, he's he's got a name still, but he's on a, every, he hasn't fought in two years. See what I'm saying? They had Tim Zhu fighting, you know, the Gauchets already. They had him fighting um, Tony Harrison. They had him fighting Mendoza, who beat Fundora already, right? If correct, type correct. So I mean, Tim Zhu, he got the, he 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 got the ancestry. You know what I'm saying? He's a descendant of a former world champion in boxing, so he got that name as well. Anytime he do well, they can go back to hey, Costa Zhu. <clears throat> but still, we don't know how much of his country he got behind him. We don't really know. We don't really know. If, if, if Tim Zhu was so hot in Australia, then why are you fighting in Vegas? In a way, don't. Right, chat? They say, fuck, in a way, don't have to fight nowhere he don't want to. He going to fight in Japan again. And he do. I'm just saying. It's true. Uh, uh, Joshua. Do Joshua be worried about fighting in America? No. No, he don't. So I think if you really a star like that, like they say, or how they trying to say, then you should be able to do whatever you want, basically, right? But let me guess, the market is bigger here. So everybody from Australia coming to the fight? I doubt it. 
Keith One Bicep Thurman. Man, I wish it wasn't that way, man. Uh, shout out to People's Perspective Uncut. You said Thurman is a draw even though he doesn't fight much. Of course. Yeah, he Thurman is is Thurman is still, you know, again, he he was part of some of the biggest fights on PBC, especially when they was fighting on free cable like CBS. Uh yeah, I think it was C two CBS fights. Or maybe even Fox, but Thurman was a part of a lot of, you know, them big fights like Garcia, Danny Garcia, and Sean Porter. Sean Porter, Keith Thurman was a very good fight. That was like, that might be one of the, you know, that's a fight you always going to watch and come back to. I thought that was a real good fight. And that was, again, on free cable, CBS or Fox, one of them. Just a little more time. <laughs> AJ, a Saudi fighter now. Yeah, because AJ is, that's because um, Eddie Hearn has signed AJ for life in Eddie Hearn. Does business with Saudi. Mackenzie in the Cash App, shout out. You said, my guy, all love. Shout out to Mackenzie. I won't say your last name. Shout out to Mackenzie in the Cash App. Appreciate you for the support, for the love. Much appreciated. So basically, um, I'm looking at Tank's post saying he'll be back in June. I'm looking at Coach Kenny's post where he's studying Frank Martin's skull. He's studying Frank Martin's uh, distance from, I think he said, his shoulder to his gloves or his forearm to his gloves. Also, uh, I saw that Frank Martin is going to be on Cigar Talk. Uh, let me see if I can find the post. Here we go. So Frank Martin is supposed to be on C Cigar Talk with uh, Najee. Says, huge fight coming up. The ghost Frank Martin is squaring up with the face of boxing, Gervonta Tank Davis. I sat down with Frank for some cigar talk, cigar talk, and it got real. Don't miss the new episode, Great great Convo, dropping Friday. There you go. So it's dropping Friday. So this is basically confirmation, right? I mean... Frank is basically going to be announcing his fight, or they're probably going to announce the fight Friday, right? If you follow and type follow. Uh, a lot of guys have been on Cigar Talk, so if you're on there, like, yeah, the info is good. You know what I'm saying? Shakur been on there. Um, I don't remember if I remember Tank's Cigar Talk, but I, I've seen a bunch of them, you know, Kevin Gates, Shakur's, uh, I'm pretty sure Errol been on there, Regis, Devin, probably, they probably all been on there, honestly, so that's basically an announcement coming. Literally, it says it, Frank Martin is fighting Tank Davis, and there's an interview coming out, you know, Frank hasn't really spoke or nothing like that, so they're probably going to announce the fight, maybe they announce it tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, it might get announced. Honestly. Right. So. You know, Frank had kind of been alluding to some of that in his post. Frank got a lot of pride, man. I'm interested to see, you know, uh, uh, how he, how he, you know, kind of stepped to, to Tank Davis as a whole, uh, not just, inside the ring but outside the ring as well you know i don't see him doing the antics that ryan do which one of them is going to speak up in the press conference who y'all think that's what i want to know really because i feel like neither one of them is going to say too much but once one of them say something then that's when it's going to get you know what i mean it's going to get started like that's how i would go with ryan right Shit didn't really pop off till, I don't know, De La Hoya says something or somebody says something, and then it, they start going back and forth. So that's what I want to see. You know Derrick James ain't going to say much. So that's kind of what I want to see. I want to see how Frank Martin 
deal with Tank? You know, are they going, is the, is the sparring going to be mentioned? And he say, man, you didn't do shit in sparring. You know what I mean? Then they go back. I don't know. That's what I want to say. I don't know. I don't know which one of them really going to come out. You know what I mean? And kind of, you know, they, I mean, they're going to say, you know, we don't have to talk much. The fight is sold, you know, all that shit. But we know the difference, man. You know the difference when them dudes is drawing and they talking back and forth. You said Tank going to sell the fight and Frank going to get tight and fire back. You know how you know how Tank be pushing them, you know what I'm saying? And Tank do be selling the fight sometimes, right? He'll either get in their face or he might push them at the weigh-in, little stuff like that. So he pushed Ryan. He pushed Roley. I think he grabbed Gamboa or pushed. Yeah, he pushed Gamboa too, right? Tank did, so... You know, that's that's what I want to see. I want to see if Frank go in there, play nice, or Frank go in there and uh, really try to ruin some plans. Dion, you said, I think Thurman will outbox EJ, but Errol is a body snatcher. I don't think, I don't think Thurman would outbox Errol. Maybe Thurman, four, three, four years ago, before COVID or something, but nah, I, I don't see that. I think Errol is being underrated now because of the Crawford fight, the way the way he lost. Plus he chilling, you know what I'm saying? So people think it's sweet. Tank going to kick it off by saying how he's going to KO Martin, then I think Martin will get offended. So <laughs> yeah, he might. You right about that. Yeah, so let me see if I could pull up Ryan. Uh Ryan was on one today, man. For real. So he went at Tank, because Tank went at him. So he posted this. He said, Abdul Wahid, what the F is this? And he posted, I guess that's Diddy. Well, that is Diddy. And Diddy picked Tank up off his feet. Then he posted this photo. Then he <laughs> then he posted this photo. And this photo. And he said. Abdul Wahid, what the F is this? He said, but he said, but for real, if you're weird, wants to fight at 140, shut the F up and fight. Stop F F and running around like a and fight for real. I'm out here fighting for the 140 pound title. He out here kissing dudes and loving on P. Diddy. What the F is his problem? Right? So this is Ryan, right? Some more Instagram on uh Twitter today. So when he was telling the story about Shakur, Shakur said, I beat him so easy, Ryan was my easiest win in the tournament. I remember telling people he was trash before the fight. So Ryan said, join the space. You had your, man, I don't know, Ryan was talking about some other stuff, bro. I ain't even trying to repeat, but I'm going to play some of this. I'm going to play some of this real quick. See if I can find the spot on here. I felt like I was going to die. Bro, this dude had... Bro, I remember a time in the fucking amateurs, we fucking pants him and there were shit stains on his underwear. No cap. Oh, my God. I was on the PR team of the USA box. And then they go, well, his birthday's in December. Let's, uh, uh, he, and then I'm like, all right, whatever, let's fight in January. He goes, well, I need a tune-up now. Then they fucking do the tune-up with Hector Garcia, and then we fight in April, bro. That's some bullshit. Shakur tweeting about you, man. Was Shakur? Yeah, he's tweeting about you right now. He said, like, he beat you so easily in the tournament or some shit. Shut the fuck up. Who has the fucking video then? Drop the video, you piece of shit. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what did I say to his face? Tell him, to, tell him that why his coach was fucking that girl. Hey, oh, my God. Ask him. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yo, that's Ryan, crazy. Ask me the question. Why would you tell me that girl that was on the PR team of the USA boxing motherfucker? Bring it, bro. Bring the bring court up here, bro. Where's the court bitch ass up you? Where's the post, Ryan? What? I sent the post, like, on the space. You can see what he said about you. Hey, hey, Shakur just gonna I run from you here too, bro. Us. I remember telling people it was trash before the fight. I, I got you. Space, y'all crazy. Going to space, bitch. <laughs> hey, Ryan, Ryan, you know Shakur ain't like that, bro. He just gonna run, bro. He is. Like, come on now. He, he's, he's, he sucks, bro. Damn. What, what, you, what you think when he was trying to replace you, Ryan? What, what was your thoughts about that when Shakur Stevenson was trying to replace you? I don't know. He's just a bitch looking for a payday. Fuck you. He said he would stand in front of me all night. Please. Please. Please fucking do that. I'm going to knock your fucking weird ass out, bro. This dude had... Bro, I remember a time in the fucking amateurs. We fucking pantsed him and there were shit stains on his underwear. No cap. Oh, my God. <laughs> bro, everybody knows that, too. Everybody fucking knows that. Must be in it. <laughs> I mean, hey, yo, yo, you're just a mess. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? You? Wait a minute. This is a sick Negro. I ain't got my button on. <laughs> you said, I don't want to see Tank rematch this dude. I knew it. Tank been up at them Diddy parties. <laughs> His teeth up even more. His teeth are already messed up. Yeah, so. we're gonna fuck his shit up, bro. Like, bro, think well, let's do it. Gap is cute, bro. I'm gonna hit that shit so hard that shit fucking, fucking shit. Never mind. Fuck that. I'm writing this tweet. Fuck this dude. <laughs> Damn. Oh man, that might be a man. That might be. That'd be a dope fight. Yeah, it's about to get crazy. It's it's cool. What you got to say? Shakur. I'm going to let him speak first. Because I got to hear what he's going to say. All right, but you're getting... Okay, I'm sorry. I got to remove you, bro. Like, Unmute. He's, he's getting a little, little nervous. nervous. Nah, his microphone ain't on. There it is. You... How the fuck I turned it on? I hear it on. You, you on. It's on. Y'all can hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Core. Yeah. Where are you at, man? Right, right here. Right is here. it true or is it not true? Your coach was fucking the PR girl on the USA team and you were given gifted decisions. Is that not true? Damn. I don't know nothing about that, my guy. Wait, wait, don't lie. Are you lying on stage? Hey, look, 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 look. Just answer my question, though, bro. Wait, no, I answer, 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 answer my, my question, question first. Okay, okay, what's your question, bro? Go ahead, go ahead. Was, was one of your coaches not fucking the PR girl at the fucking USA team? No. Oh, oh, my God. God. Look, look, let me finish, bro. Let me finish, All right. right. No, right, with me and you for no. Oh, okay. So he did play the games. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know nothing about that. But with me and you for no. Look yeah. at my respect. Look at bro. But at the end of the day, yeah, I won the first bro. round. That's cap. I won, That's cap, I, man. I, I, now, I won the first round easily. You're lying. And the, that was back in the day when they... Hey, Ryan, when they, bro. bro. Wait, wait, bro, hold bro. on. Let me finish. All right, go. Okay. Bro, you lying, though, bro. You ain't got to lie up here, bro. I'm not keep lying. It, keep, it, keep it real, bro. It was easy. It was an easy fight for me, bro. Okay, stop lying. Okay. So let, let me speak my piece. Let me speak was my it an easy you fight for me? Okay, answer my question. Was it an you, easy no, fight? I, I don't believe it was an easy fight you, uh, for you. I felt like I won the fight. You felt like you won the fight. You don't feel like that, bro. You got, I know you feel like... Bro, like, you know like, how many people told me I won after that after Nobody, the fight Your like, family you probably that. told you that, bro. Your family <laughs> no, they always did not, told bro. you Everybody won, knew bro. about us. Everybody bro, knew about us, and everybody wanted to see that fight anyway. Ryan, Ryan, your, your mother was a judge, bro. But she did. Hey, but did she judge that fight? <laughs> what are you talking but did about? Your mother was a judge. But you know boy. why my mom was judging the fight, bro? We didn't have no. You didn't have money either. Judge, but, bro. but I, bro, you're hey. looking. You, you yeah, didn't have money yeah, either. You know, yeah, I, I know that. I never said you did. Wait, who got the minute? Okay, the tape. Who got the tape? Who has the tape? Somebody got to have that tape. I'm, I'm just saying, bro. It was an easy fight, though, bro. And I'm like, saying, like, like, no you way. Knew, you know, I was the truth, bro. I didn't say you bro, weren't you good. you knew I was the truth, bro. I never said you weren't good, though. You know I was though. the truth. You know I, I was never the said you I was the best good. fighter that you've ever been in a ring with, bro. I don't During know about that, During that time, bro. I was I the best fighter. That, bro, bro you, you're, you're, who you're did you fight there, that was bro, on my I, level, bro? Bro, you're skillful, bro, but you're missing something, and you know it. Who? I'm, I'm just the keeping truth. it real. Court. Ryan, I am the truth, bro. Bro, I am the truth. Then why didn't you whip the fuck out of Edwin Del Santos? Bro, I had a fucked up hand, bro. Okay, look, look. I'm not, it's a I, I'm on not saying you did or did not. I'm just saying, cool. Uh, why didn't you fuck him up? That's all I was asking. So, 
so so let, yo, let's yo, settle yo. this. Shakur, would you be willing to go down and fight Javante? I can't, I can't, I can't hear you no more. Would you be willing to go down and fight Javante Davis? Nigga don't know what he talking about. Would you be willing to go down to fight Javante? Like, nigga. Shakur just got to 35. Them, then, nigga don't know shit about boxing. <laughs> Ryan Garcia did. If you can beat Javante Davis, then we can all clearly say you're better than Ryan Garcia. Yo. Yo, 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 I will fight Tank any day, bro. But, but you have to go down to his weight class. <laughs> and his... I fight at 135. I don't have no, to they go fight, down to they no fight weight class. I fight class. 135, bro. Okay, so then let's see. Then that's the only... No, 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 I don't want to talk to y'all. I want to talk to Ryan. Ryan, <laughs> hey, I'm talking to Ryan, bro. Where's Ryan? At, I'm right bro? here. Gang, 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 right. gang. Look, right? All right. Will you fight me if you win April 20th? That's the question. I want the rematch with Tank. If I can't get that rematch, oh we'll start talking. Oh, my God, bro. I do, bro. Oh, well, my I've God. I've been telling everybody that since the beginning. That's a legitimate I told, excuse. I told, I told Charlamagne that I would fight you. Did I not? <laughs> they were Ryan like a lick. I swear he like a lick. Man, come on. You hear Shakur like, come on, bro. Let me get that easy dub. Easy money. Easy money, easy win. No, you you barely said it. You said you want to fight everybody. Know people want to get that rematch. Like 135. Bro. Okay, so then let's see. Then that's the only. No, 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 I don't want to talk to y'all. I want to talk to Ryan. Ryan, stay. I'm talking to Ryan, bro. Where's Ryan? At, I'm right bro? here. Gang, 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 right. gang. Look, right. right. Will you pay me if you win April 20th? That's the question. I want the rematch with Tank. If I can't get that rematch, oh we'll start talking. Oh, my God, bro. I do, bro. Oh, well, my I've been God. telling everybody that since the beginning. That's but a legitimate I told, excuse. Oh, I told Charlamagne that I would fight you. Did I not? No, you you barely said it. You said you wanted to fight I didn't everybody know people want, Hey, I didn't know people wanted to watch it. Did you know? I didn't know. Ain't nobody told me to fight you. Man, stop it, bro. You can stop capping, bro. bro. You I'm, ain't I'm got to real, cap, bro. bro. Okay, bro. You, you don't you think I would fight you, bro? You exposing everybody being real. So I, Keep okay. it real, my boy. Okay, so I fought Dramonte. I'm fighting fucking Devin. You don't think I'm going to fight you? Why would I not fight you? Okay, so so can you give me your word that if you come out... Fuck it. Even if you don't come out victorious. I know I'm going to come out victorious. Will you fight me okay. next? Will you fight me next? If I don't get the rematch with Tank, I will do it. You have my word. You have so, my word. You said, you said, you said, if what? I don't get the rematch with Tank, you have my word. We'll fight. So, Corey, you going to. Okay, cool. That, Does that work? That's all I want to hear. You got my bro. word. Yeah, that's all I want to hear. For bro. sure. That's and, all I want to hear. If you were right here, I, I want to fight you, it. bro. Okay, I just want. Hey, hey, another thing, too, bro. Another thing, too, bro. You went up there on 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 the interview, bro, and you said that I was arrogant. Yeah, was bro, because you didn't want to talk me. to me with. with but that's not done. true. You didn't want to talk. No, that no, was weird no, behavior. Ryan, you, can you remember like what happened that yes, day, I bro? Yes, I do, bro. Yes, I do. Me and fucking Keyshawn. You walked in and I was sitting there already, bro. You clearly didn't want to speak that to me already, cat, right? bro. I, literally, I went to sit down because I was already drinking. I was having a good time. You remember that? And then I was like, oh, I want to. I like obviously, I'm like, okay, Shakur's over there. That's cool. And then, I, and then I'm already talking to Keyshawn. We're having a great time, laughing, talking. And I'm like, yo, bring Shakur over here. I was like, Shakur, what's up? And it, but if you wanted to talk to me, why couldn't you come and just say what bro, up? Bro? Because it, I was already talking to Keyshawn. Keyshawn and me were already talking. What the fuck does that got to do because with like saying what right, right. right. Next time, I would have said we need you that day, bro. I didn't have no issue I, with I you. I never bro. had an issue with you. I don't have an issue with you. I'm just saying when you went on social media and said, because oh, I felt like you been arrogant. arrogant. That's, cap, I, I, bro. That's, I, that's how I feel. That's cap, now, bro. Now you could clear that up, but I, I, that's I felt cap. Were, I, I, what I what I am gonna clear up, bro. This is what I'm saying, bro. When I was right there chilling, bro, I was there already. So I'm like, you clearly ain't want to come say nothing to me. So I'm like, I right, bet whatever. So but who said who? Say wait, something but who, who who said hi to who first? I looked at you and I said, hey Shakur, come over here. I said that. Yeah, you did. After you were sitting there for a long time, to me bro. First. Yes, because you were sitting there for a long time, bro. No, I it wasn't was like, I've been in there. You've been seeing me, bro. Okay, anyway. Yeah, you've been seeing me, okay. bro. Really? All right, next time, me. bro, we'll shake on it, and then we'll talk about the fight that we could do after this one. Who 
Hey, I got hey, okay, I got a suggestion. As long as you fight me, we go. Right, hey, Shakur, Shakur, Ryan, I got a suggestion. Look, look, look. As the king of PR, check this out. Ryan got a fight coming up. Shakur, Ryan, y'all just meet up. Y'all do a four-round spar with headgear, and then we can figure out who yeah. win that spar. We build it up. Win or lose for Ryan Garcia. Man, you just talk. Ain't no money Man, in that. Hey, bro, this is how you want the fight? I'm showing you how you're going to get that fight right off the bat. Hey. My nigga dropped. We, we talking about making money, nigga. You talking about sparring, bro. Nobody trying Shakur. to link up and spar for four rounds. Shakur. Then I don't even hey. want to spar no fucking four rounds. I, I spar oh, rounds shit. and rounds, bro. What the fuck? Hey, Shakur, let's not talk about ducking. You ducked the 25%, nigga. Oh, not shit. A lot. Man, shut up. Oh. With that bullshit, Shakur, you got to clear that up. That's some shit for, that's some shit for y'all to go run Hold with. Hold up. Yeah, hey, I'm gonna run with it. You know, I think he. Broke. I never got offered nothing by fucking Bill. Bill had a conversation with. So you saying Bill's Bob. Bill's captain? <laughs> yes, Bill. Bill captain the media all the he time, does, bro. Y'all know he that. He, he lied to y'all all day long, and y'all just run with everything that he say, bro. But the truth is, bro, I never got offered nothing. I heard something about it, and I went to Twitter and talked. Would you have accepted and when I went the to Twitter, twenty-five though, or no? I mean, it would have been negotiated. Right. Look, this is what I would have did, right? I try to go to the WBC. I try to enforce, like, my mandatory. Right. Whatever percentage that they would have felt that I would have deserved, I would have took okay. it. That makes sense. Well, there you go. He yeah. cleared it up. Now nobody can say shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but, hey, good luck, good luck on your fight, bro. Hey, hey, no, no disrespect. I don't think that you can beat right. him. With your mental That's right fine. now, as far as what I see on social but, media. Right, but when I beat him, but, but can you give me respect and be like, yo, respect, Ryan did. Hell yeah. No, you beat him, I'm going I'm to I'm give you your respect, uh, bro. Thanks, you deserve bro. it, bro. All right, bro. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll chat later. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. So them dudes, was they had a good-ass time in the Twitter space, right? Them niggas hashing shit out, you know, it's cool. So Shakur said, basically, he never got offered the 25%. Let's see. I'm, I'm going on Shakur Twitter real quick. He said July 6, Newark. He said, Ryan said he will fight me next. Let's hold him to his word. Ryan said, that I did if I can't get that tank rematch at 140. Let's see. He said, the 25% was never real. The man had no intentions on fighting at 135 pounds any longer, and that's facts. I'm the truth. If I was them, I wouldn't want to fight a bad MF like me with that kind of weight cut either, but I think that should have been said instead of media manipulation. That's what Shakur said. He just tweeted that not too long ago. He said with your mental, they sound like school, you said they sound like school girls, or maybe I'm just getting old. That's from Malik. Yeah, they were kind of, you know, I don't know. They should have kept it at they fight and stuff like that, but you said, hold up, hold up. Shakur wants Dev leftovers instead of getting that bill, and Dev, this man is ducking in plain sight. Well, he did, to be fair, he did say if Ryan wins, and then he said F it, even if you don't win. So you could be right about that. I mean, I thought Shakur said he wanted to become undisputed at 135. That was his goal. So it, think about this. If you'll fight Devin and you'll fight Ryan, right? If you'll fight Ryan and you'll fight Devin on short notice, then you might as well move to 140. You might as well, you might as well move to 140, brother. If you'll fight Devin on short notice and replace Ryan, and you'll fight Ryan after Devin beats Ryan, then you might as well move to 140 now. If you agree, type agree. I'm not putting any pressure down. I'm just keeping it consistent. Just like when I say Ryan entertaining 135 pounders at 140 and 
you know, y'all talking about 140 pounders for 135 pounders. So why everybody be talking like, you know, to different weight classes, but then we acting like also the action shouldn't be to move up then. You, or that's, or is Devin Haney going to be your first fight at 140? Ryan Garcia be your first fight at 140. Okay, that's cool too. But then we should be talking about, you know, like I said, the, the transition from weight class to weight class. I'm just saying, maybe that make too much sense. He said the 25% was enough, if I'm not mistaken, which means it was offered. Uh, shout out to my guy, Lindsay, in the chat. Yeah, I'm reading this tweet right now. He said it was media manipulation. Somebody said you should have taken the 25%, beat him, and you could have called the shots, yet you tried to go another way. You could have been undisputed right now like your boy Bud. Now we're here talking about you running from Edwin. Downfall be crazy. That's from racist communist. Shakur said, Shakur said, gang, the 25% was never real. The man had no intentions on fighting at 135 pounds any longer, and that's facts. I'm the truth. If I was them, I wouldn't want to fight a bad MF like me with that kind of weight cut either. But I think that should have been said instead of media manipulation. So he just tweeted that, like I said, not too long ago. He said he offered... He said, Bob, hold on, let me go back. Somebody said, you said the offer was real many times in interviews. Now it wasn't real. Which one is it? He said, Bob Aram is my promoter. He told y'all it wasn't a real offer. Isn't that what Bill said? He can't make a fight with me. He makes the fight with my promoter. Well, my promoter told y'all it wasn't no real offer on the table. Uh, Tony the Closer said, it wasn't one with Frank either, but you was playing crazy on him. Shakur said, Cap, we offered him quadruple than he ever made in his career. That's not playing with him. And that's being reasonable. So, um, hold on real quick, y'all. Hold on. Okay, my fault. You said that's from racist com. Yeah, you saw that? I be looking at people's names like, man, what? Racist commune. And then they be responding to the people with the craziest names. Like, you already know they going to say something wild. You said what's funny is that Shakur is quick to talk about media manipulation, but the end posted a video with him sending a bottle talking about signing a contract. What contract? That's from uh, uh, Prime. Prime HD, shout out. Pugilist, shout out. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Tank got a line. You said never around says Tank got a line of Hispanics thinking they getting a rematch. <laughs> Probably Pitbull and Ryan. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I hope it's Frank. Sound like it's going to be Frank. And it might get announced soon. I mean, he said it wasn't enough. Yeah, 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 I got you. Lamont, shout out. Uh, Roll Tide, you said this sounds like a celebrity cap deathmatch conversation. Uh, shout out to Ray Davis. You said, salute champ side. My question is, if Shakur never had any offer and it wasn't met with 50-50, also, when request the mandatory purse, didn't he say he believed his value was more 50-50 than 25 75 Honestly, I, I, I feel like I've heard a little bit of everything and just, I'm whatever, you know what I'm saying? Because when I spoke on it, 
when I spoke on Shakur, uh, when I if I misspoke, whatever the case may be, but basically I said if Frank is ducking Shakur by turning down an offer that he didn't care for, that he didn't agree with, then Shakur ducked Devin. You know what I'm saying? Because Shakur turned down the deal or declined the deal that he didn't care for, that he didn't agree with. And so his thing was like, I never got offered anything, so I never declined anything. So I was like, okay, well, shit, maybe I misspoke then. So I don't know, man. I heard it all. Uh, I thought he said something on Gilly and Wallow interview that kind of alluded that it was, it was there, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't right, basically, which is two different things. But... That's where we at, so. Ryan is the plate. Yeah, they, man, listen, they they looking at Ryan like he a walking lick. And that's what Shakur told him. He said, bro, you a walking lick. Stop talking. You said Shakur fight at 135. Why he... Clout chasing, talking about fighting Ryan at 140. Yeah, I think that's kind of... I wasn't calling him a clout chaser, but I was basically saying that he should fight at 140 then. You said he did this last time. He wanted to fight everybody, ended up fighting De Los Santos. This time, he probably going to end up fighting Covert. Really? You think you think Shakur going to fight Chris Covert? I'm about that. I want to see that. You said Shakur asking for Ryan's word when his ass be capping like a MF fax. <laughs> Tell the truth. Imagine Ryan telling the truth. You said Shakur is too sensitive. They probably not going to announce this until after the Tim Zhu Fandora fight to keep the attention on them and Roley. Core was on there begging almost. I hate this for him. That's from never around. Uh, yeah, you think so? I don't know, man. I think that Tim Zoo fight needs some attention on it. You know, but I get I get what you're saying. Any any conversation outside of that fight would, you know, distract people, I guess. But you know, I, I listen. I rock with PBC. I rock with the Prime. You know, shout out to the Godfather Al Heyman. Just personally speaking, I think that Tim Zoo is a hard sell. Because, like, personality-wise and, and stuff like, you know, the stuff that make guys big, I don't I don't really see it. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's, he's from Australia. You know, I don't know. I just don't see it. But maybe he'll impress on the 30th and, you know. You said, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't a dude in the Shakur camp go on a boxing voice and say that they turned down the offer and he admitted to lying about Dev never sending the contract? You might be right, bro. Honestly, I can't keep up with all that. I can't keep up. I do remember somebody that said they was close to him and they said how much he made and I don't know, man. I don't know. If they want to make a fight happen, it'll get done. That's 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 the simple terms of it. One time for the baddest brand. Shout out to the gnarly trucker. Shout out to Jehuda in the chat. Brother Mike, what's your thoughts if Zoo loses to Fundora and we get Crawford Fundora next? I'm picking Crawford against all of them dudes. But that would be crazy, honestly. I don't know, man. Like, I don't really trust Fundora like that. So, but he could do it. I don't know. I think I'm going to go Tim Zhu on that still. I got to stay with my pick. But I do think Tim Zhu might fight, but I don't know. Maybe Charlo will get in the mix. I think Charlo beats Tim Zhu. But we don't know where we don't know where Charlo's at, man. We don't know what he's doing, what he's trying to do. 
uh, you said I'm at the Luxor in Vegas and I ain't seen no fight or promos. So I ain't surprised. Come see the Usher concert. Shakur versus Cobra, good matchup with both good boxers, both not heavy punchers. Yeah, I I I, I had to favor Shakur in that fight, but I ain't mad at it. Probably would have been better before Cobra fought Ryo, though. You said Coach Kenny got Fundora winning. Either way, we rolling with Bud. Yeah, I need to rewatch Fundora last, like his last fight. I don't know. I I, I got to stay with Tim Zoo right now. Bill said they sent the contract and Shakur didn't send a counter offer or anything, just went to social media. You say I feel like they will make all big fight announcements on March 30th card. They probably will, honestly. That would make sense, right? Especially if you had some of them fighters there. Uh, but obviously when you got the prime audience there, you want to let them know that you got more services and product for them to watch. Uh, 504, shout out. You said, uh, Ray, you said Shakur seems to be looking for another fight other than Raymond Mortaya. In my opinion, he says everyone ducking him, Mortai is being ignored, and De Los Santos got no rematch. Well, yeah, we was looking at that the other day. Mortai is, what, second? And Keyshawn is third in the rankings, in the WBC. So, to me, Shakur should be fighting Mortai. I think Zapata's number one, Mortai is number two, and Keyshawn Davis is number three. And Zapata just fought last couple of days ago. You said Tim is going to wash Fundora. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Yeah, that's how I feel too. Well, I don't know about washing him, but I think he beats him. You said Fundora makes too many mistakes. George, shout out. You said I'd rather see Shakur fight. Ryo. Oh, you talking about Ryo. You said the dude slid Cobra. Yeah, you talking about Ryo. Well, Edwin knocked Ryo out. Yeah, so that would I guess that would be a little bit going backwards, right? Because Edwin knocked Ryo out, and then Ryo lost to Colbert. Then Ryo came back and beat Colbert. Edwin fought Shakur, and they was basically what and what, honestly. Did y'all think there was a great separation in that Shakur versus Edwin fight? I don't know, man. I haven't rewatched that fight. I remember I told y'all I rewatched it the, like the next day, and I nah, I I haven't rewatched that fight. You know, no disrespect, but it it was a it was a. I'm sure that that will make Shakur a totally different fighter. I think it will. I think Shakur was going to come out in his next fight and fight totally different. I hope so. But hopefully the opponent is up to par, too. I don't want to see him just roll some random dude, you know what I mean, like Yoshino or something. Yeah, get a Mortaya, get a Keyshawn Davis. Y'all can be brothers later. You say I don't count Fundora out, Fundora a dog at heart. Yeah, no, I, I don't count him out either. So I did a video on Benavidez uh, in Canelo earlier. Go watch it. Go check it out. Go watch the Black Murderers Road Doc. Go check out the videos I did on Ryan's Twitter space in case you missed it. I also did a video yesterday on Arrow and Keith Thurman. Uh, shout out to everybody supporting the brand. Appreciate y'all for tuning in on the evening live, trying to catch my people that be, you know, working earlier in the day when I'm on live. So, uh you know, I said I would do it, and we're doing it. And I'm also working on a documentary. So, you know, 
I'll try to, you know, be as consistent as possible. Make sure y'all hitting the like button on these videos, sharing the videos, commenting, uh, share it with somebody you know. Feel free to show some love on the video. You can support the brand at dollar sign champ side on Cash App. You can support the brand at dollar sign champ side on Cash App. You can support the brand at dollar sign champ side on Cash App. All right, shout out to everybody in the chat. I'm going to end it here. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Uh, more updates to come on the baddest brand in the lane, Champ Side. Peace. Shout out to Champ Side, man. That's the only side. <laughs> and you're listening and you're tuning in to the baddest brand on the land, Champ Side, baby. Shout out to Champ Side. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Ashley Corsican. Shout out to Champ Side. They the best in the business. Shout out to the Champ Side, man. Appreciate AB, man, checking out. And you also can find me here at Champ Side. You hear me? You know I got to do it for my dude. Shout out to Champ Side, the baddest brand in the land. This is Alicia Baumgartner, WBC World Champion. This is the baddest in the land, Champ Side, baby. Shout out to Champ Side, the baddest brand in the land. Always show me love. You know, y'all been here since day one. Thank you. Yeah, shout out to Champ Side. Appreciate y'all, man. Thank you guys so much for your support. Love, Champ Side. Thank you. Appreciate you. Bro, I'll talk to I you when I was Champ Side. Why you keep letting me say <laughs> Champ Side? <laughs> that was me. Hey, bro, I thought that was you, bro. Yeah, I look back at me. I thought they were. Bro, I just ran to the left. Champ Side, what's up, baby? Catch the exclusives, all the exclusives on the baddest brand in the land. That's Champ Side. From TLF Lopez, shout out Champ Side. Champ Side, what up, baby? Shout out to Champ Side, my dude, bro. Shout out, Champ Side, all the way around, man, up and down, man. We love Champ Side. Thanks for Champ Side, man. For always showing love. He got it hands down, no no questions, if hands or buts. I got him, Champ Side, holla at him. Wonder, you, you know, you, you telling the truth out there. I appreciate you know, that. I, yeah. Well, you the truth. You train, you know, you train in the my truth. Wife, my wife be in the truth. You know, the Champ Side, Champ Side. Appreciate you for having the Champ Side boxing, y'all. I think Champ Side is the next to blow, and um, I, I, I really, really believe it's the future of uh, covering boxing. So hopefully they stop hating and start appreciating and get with the Champ Side, you know, rocking with the Champ. Shout out to Champ Side, they always show love, always show love to fighters and things like that, you know what I'm saying, not being biased, just giving honest opinions on things. I appreciate y'all being 100 in the sport. So you had to bite down, fam. That shit different, champ. Get with us, bro. Appreciate the support. Sure. And I want to give a big shout out to Champ Side because they were uh, ruthless. Like, they stood up for me and continue to stand up for what's right in boxing and use their platform um, to tell the truth. They like that. Like that. <laughs> champ Side. Champ Side. You heard? You're going to be champ all right. Champ Side. Yeah. Lock up the puppets, man. Get your ass in these seats and let's be real for this dude. Stop messing around. He's freaking motherfucker. Excuse me, blood that out. Blood that out. Okay, blood that out. Shout out to Champ Side, man. That's the only side. And you're listening and you're tuning in to the baddest brand on the land. Champ Side, baby. Shout out to Champ Side.